Number 14, what depth of mercury creates a pressure of one ATM? All right, so uh, we have a little picture over here. We This should make intuitive sense too. I'm sure you probably experienced this when you might have, if you've ever gone swimming, especially if you've gone, uh, you know, a little bit deeper below the, you know, below the surface, like 10 feet down, maybe something, you start feeling the pressure of the water. So now, uh, you know, pretend you start up here at the surface. As you work your way down this fluid, right, the pressure begins to increase, right, as you go down. And why is that the case? Well, there's more weight right above you the lower you get down here, okay? So we have a nice little formula, all right, right over here on the right-hand side that relates the pressure to the depth, a.k.a. height, of a column of fluid above you, all right? And we also need to know the density and obviously gravity on Earth here at 9.8. So what I realize is that in order to uh, calculate for depth, I need to use that formula, right? The pressure at a certain depth is equal to that depth multiplied by the density of the fluid that is above us multiplied by gravity. So now if I want to find for the depth, which is H, right? This is simple algebra now. This is just the pressure divided by the density times gravity. Now, we do know the pressure. They gave it to us as one atmosphere, but we can't use atmospheres. We need it in Pascals. So you just need to know the conversion. 1 atm is equivalent to 1.01 approximately times 10 to the 5 Pascals. We also need to know the density of the fluid. And the, the fluid or the item that we're talking about here is, is mercury, right? So the density of mercury is 13.6 right, times 10 to the 3 kilogram per cubic meter. We need it in these units, okay? Um, so now when we go about and do our calculations, we can just plug everything on in, right? It's fairly straightforward. So this is 13.6 times 10 to the third. No, it's not. Just kidding. Just kidding, everyone. <laughs> it's going to be our Pascal value, right? Because it's one atmosphere and that's equivalent to this many Pascals. Okay. Divided them by the density. So this is now 13.6. My rows look like P's. So... Uh, there we go, times then gravity, times 9.8. And now we can calculate the height. All right, so let's see what we get. So 1.01 .01 times 10 to the fifth, divided now by parentheses 13.6 times 10 to the third, uh, times the 9.8. So we get a height value here of now 0 0.758, 758, and that is in terms of meters. All right, so if you just, if you're in liquid mercury for whatever reason, and you go down, you know, only less than a meter, okay, if you go down just a little bit, about three quarters of a meter, you'll be experiencing about one atmosphere of pressure, okay? So guys, hopefully this helped. Please remember to subscribe. Until next time.